Hi, Pastor Charlie here with New Hope Lutheran Church. Welcome to Pastor Charlie's Toolbox. So, you might be able to hear, today's another pretty miserable day outside, so I've cooped myself up inside the shop here, and uh, I'm nailing together a few things for a project I'm working on, and uh, it's going to be pretty fantastic when I'm done because, you know, uh, I like putting things. Ah, 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 mm, ah, oh, oh, ah. I hit my finger with a hammer. Oh, man, I hate that when that happens because it can really hurt. Ah. Uh, now, I suppose you might say that that was my own fault because I should have been watching what I was doing down here and instead of looking at you. And uh, actually, it's true, you know. When you're, when you're working on construction of any kind, paying attention is, is a pretty important thing to do. If you aren't paying attention to what you're trying to do, you can get way off track and you can get hurt. It's a little bit like our lesson for today from uh, Mark 8, 31 to 38. Jesus is explaining to his disciples that in the coming weeks, he's going to have to die. And that sounds pretty painful for everyone involved. Now, his disciple Peter wasn't too impressed with that outlook because Peter would rather have lived in a world where Jesus didn't have to die and he took Jesus aside and he told him as much. Things were going good for them. They were popular with a lot of people. Life was pretty rosy. Why would Jesus want to mess that up by dying? Now, it may surprise you to know that Jesus became pretty upset with Peter and his comments. He, he blasted Peter with his reply, even calling him Satan. The reason Jesus was upset was because Peter had lost track of what their purpose was. It's kind of like Peter was hammering nails without watching where the hammer was landing because... He was thinking of other things. So Jesus being mean to him wasn't about hurting his feelings, but rather to snap Peter back on track to concentrating on what they were supposed to be doing on God's behalf. You know, I suspect something like that can happen to us as well. I mean, for the past months, it's just been... It's been pretty easy to watch church from home without even having to leave your couch or maybe not even bothering to do that much. It's been comfortable to have to think about or not have to think about other people's problems because you don't hear about them anymore. We don't see other people. There's going to be a lot of temptation, I suspect, to not attend in-person worship once we get that rolling again because, well, that's going to require some extra effort. But as Jesus told the people around him after he bawled out Peter, being a child of God isn't simply about what's easy or comfortable. There are times we have to make a sacrifice because that's what it may take to save other people and to show them what God is about. Our focus has to be on what we are doing, not what we would like to be doing. In the end, Jesus says, it will be better to have our soul intact than to have lost it because we want life easy and comfortable. Losing your soul, that was 
really hurt. <laughs> 